Hello everyone, Vito's a pretty back again with another deck review. This is one of two recent releases from the USPC. Uh, despite that, nothing new in Club 808 since, like, the beginning of the year. Pretty ridiculous. We're losing members for sure. Uh, this is the Cocktail Party deck. Top says Bicycle, 52 Time Honored Drink Recipes, and it says Cocktail Party. Playing cards, and you see some cocktail glasses. The one side says 52 drink recipes, one on each card face, and the other side, Erica Sinfinis, Maiden USA. Top, if you look at it, it says poker face, or sorry, poker size cocktail face. The bottom is a barcode and USB-C info, and in the back, it says cocktail party, and it says, what could be more fun than an evening playing cards and Hosting a perfect cocktail party. Each of the face cards feature a time-honored drink recipe to help you create that perfect drink from the golden age of the cocktail party. Grab your little black dress, martini shaker, I'm shaking right now, in case you can't tell, <laughs> a deck of cards. This is going to be fun. And you see the face and the back of a card. Standard seal, standard trademark stuff. Okay. Now to the exciting part, the cards. So inside, first of all, you get a card that has a bar stock list. And it tells you all the things you should stock in your bar, specifically, I guess, for cocktails, spirits, liquors, juices, mixers, sodas, and other miscellaneous. There's also a kind of standard ad card, what done in the Cocktail face, I guess. Here's your back design. It is a one-way design, sadly, but not a big deal. And it's just cocktail glasses and stripes. Kind of interesting, but not much to it. The Jokers. This one says Joker in black in the corners. And it's got the Cupid cocktail recipe. And this one, it says red in the corner. Joker in red, I should say. In the corners, and it's El Presidente. So technically, it's... 54 cards of recipes because the Joker's also got recipes. And the Ace of Spades, in case you're wondering, it's got the Manhattan. And if you look at it, this side has the ingredients. You flip it over and you get the directions. So you get ingredients and directions. One way cards, despite it being one way this way and one way this way. <laughs> the rest of the cards, well, they're all the same. They got custom indexes, which are pretty nice, but they're not very practical for usage because of how they are. They're big, they're wide. They got the pip beside the letter instead of underneath it. Not very good for poker peaks or anything like that. So, a quick look at this. First of all, that's what you get throughout the deck, by the way. It is a bicycle stock, Eric Christian Finnis. One way back. And whatnot. No problems with the quality of the stuff. Finish or anything like that. It actually looks pretty interesting when you fan them out. So that's a plus. And so if you fan it the other way, you get something a little bit different. Anyways. Um, so as for handling, obviously it's pretty good. I'll say 4 out of 5. Style, theme, it is what it is. I'll say three and a half out of five. It could be better. Obviously, with a two way back design or something, it would be a little bit better. As for usability, uh, not so much. I can't see a lot of people pulling these out to play cards with, perhaps, but I don't see too many people. I guess some people will. Obviously, the people are going to buy these, people are going to use them. But, I mean, they're not the best for playing cards. They don't got pips on them. The indexes aren't the best for poker picks or anything like that. Um, and then for magic, again, not extremely usable. However, I think if you're creative, you can find a way to use these. I mean, imagine a trick where you have spectators. Select cards. They select a drink. This one is the harpoon. You know, people, different people select different drinks. Then... 
and this one is a dry martini. Then you have to do some mentalism and figure out what the drinks are. You know, it could be used like that, or as a prediction. Pull out, use some cards as predictions, and and then have a, you know, well, you know, do some forcing, and so that you predicted the spectator would would select that card. Not only is it the two of hearts, but it's also the Buckeye Martini predicted by him, by the magician. So there's. Some minimal usage for magic if you want to get into that, but it's not overly usable because nobody's gonna recognize the cards that easily. Anyways, overall, I will say, oh, for that, I guess for usage, I'll say three and a half out of five. Overall, I'll give it three and three quarters out of five just to be nice about it. That is that. Make sure you check out the links in the description. CollectiblePlayingCards.com sells this deck right here. That's why I got it. You can get 10% off with the code VJS832. And that's what I got. See you next time with more reviews. Comment, like, subscribe. You know what.